Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of PA Doll Hunter Doll Fisherman. Um, I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things of doing weekly videos, so hopefully nothing changes, knock on wood. But today we are going over my 2020 solo filming equipment and setup. Um, I'm super excited about this video because I haven't really got to show you off um, the setup. Uh, last year was kind of rough. It was me just getting my feet wet with equipment and trying to learn how to self-film. Well, now that I've kind of uh, learned more and, you know, over the years I will upgrade again and again and again. But um, this right now is going to be a really solid 2020 setup for myself just getting into my second year. So I wanted to go over it all with you guys and kind of uh, show you guys exactly what I'm using for what, when I'm using it, that kind of a thing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, like, throw a like on this video if you really want to get into solo filming. If you have any questions, you can always uh, DM me on Instagram or even watch other hunters. Um, I'm sure everybody has their own techniques and um, ways they do solo filming. So let's get into the video. Stop me rumbling and talking. And so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. And as always, here we go. Alrighty guys, so basically starting off from the beginning, um, I will be doing three types of hunting this year. I will be blind hunting, um, ladder stand hunting, and then climber hunting. Uh, so basically this video is going to cover ladder stand and uh, climber hunting just because of the where the blind is depending on how big, because um, I have two different kinds of blinds. I have a bigger blind and a smaller blind. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the certain ways I want to do that. So right now we're just going to cover the tree stand and the climber blind, uh, or climber stand uh, hunting. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to um, start off with is basically how am I going to get a picture of the deer um, through a lens. So what I have hooked up, this is my front setup that hooks onto any gun bar uh, or any gun rail that's on the front of a tree stand. So as you can see, I have a fourth arrow. Um, I believe they just call this the camera arm. Uh, they have a longer one and then they have this shorter one that hooks onto the front rail of a tree stand. Um, and this thing is super awesome. It's super light, um, easy to carry in, easy to break down. Uh, it has so much mobility. Uh, it's super, super nice. I mean, you guys can see that. I mean, look at that. It's just... It's insane how nice and smooth the mobility is on this uh, camera arm. On top of that, I just have a plain Jane, um, I guess you would call it a camera tripod adjuster. Um, you can adjust this uh, from going from sharper angles with your camera. Uh, you can move the camera from side to side. Uh, so basically the mobility of the camera arm, as you can see here, and then the movement of the camera, it's really, you could get any shot of the deer um, that you need. Uh, for the camera, I have a Rode mic on it. Um, it is a Canon EOS Rebel T2i. Uh, now this camera is obviously used. Um, I bought it just for the straight fact of getting good film um, in the woods uh, for hunting purposes only. Uh, so I do have a 16 to 300 millimeter lens on top on this camera just uh, to get that extra view. Uh, you can adjust this by yardage and feet. Uh, you can also adjust this, um, you know, just to get a little bit further out. It is a fantastic setup for if you're going deer hunting and you really don't want to spend a ton of money. This whole setup. Probably just for this setup, you're looking at 200 for the arm, looking about 25 bucks on Amazon for the tripod adjuster. Uh, for the camera, you'll be lucky to get about 300, 400 bucks, and then the road mic's 50. So I would range somewhere uh, between five to 600 dollars for just this camera arm setup. 
um, which isn't crazy expensive when you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars just for the body of some cameras and lenses. So um, when you kind of just get into it, you don't want to spend a ton of money, uh, but you definitely want to get something that's going to get good film. So this is my front setup for uh, hunting deer. Now my back setup is going to be the, the face view um, that you guys are seeing me right now. Um, so that'll be in the woods face view. So let's get to that part right now. Okay guys, so I don't want to confuse you because this camera looks just like the camera that I showed you, which it is, okay? I am shooting my face and this part of the video with the exact same camera that is up here. It only makes sense to me that I use this camera just for almost like the vlogging aspect of the video because it does have uh, the um, mirrorless screen so I can see myself, all right? So this one does not. So I just took off the mic and the lens off this guy and I put it on here just to show you what it was like. So I have the exact same road mic um, that I have on my deer shooting uh, camera. I have the exact same mic except it's a little bit different. It has the um, the uh, bristle cover. It doesn't have this long uh, styrofoam cover. It has like a bristle just to avoid most of the wind because that's the one I'm going to be talking into the most. And then I have a 10 or 18 by 55 millimeter lens on this guy so it gets my face view perfectly. Um, I use this camera strictly just for the face view and it has a great auto zoom. Um, it just works exactly the way I need it to um, and it's quiet. The lens is super quiet so that's why I kind of choose this as my face view. So going off of the camera I have just a generic like I said like those tripod adjusters uh, for cameras just to get that good angle and just to get you know enough for my face and because if I just set it on the base of this there's no way to adjust it up down left right so this is an essential for if you want to do filming you need two of them one for on the deer and one for on your face secondly um, I have a muddy uh, camera arm now this muddy camera arm was probably the most expensive thing that I bought out of the entire setup either that or my fourth arrow um, they were more expensive than the cameras believe it or not and um, I mean this is a heavy duty camera arm now the only reason why I got heavy duty was because if I'm going out in the woods and I'm going high up in trees I really don't want my camera to just fall straight down so um, you know this was an essential thing to get that distance to get my face and then you know to get all the action of the deer on the other camera it's it's pretty essential that you get something as along the lines of this um, and that is hooked in by a ratchet strap um, to the tree and there's all kinds of little adjusters here you can move the camera arm up you can move it down by just um, moving this screw here and then there's adjusters for left and right um, that are pressurized in um, with these pins so basically that is the camera arm um, setup that is going to get my face so that's kind of where we are at with the setup alright guys so when you're talking price points of the camera arm uh, basically you're looking at the same about five to six hundred dollars now um, you know with a climber all the tree stand equipment um, I mean you're talking thousands of dollars um, now last year I used I don't know if you guys remember but I used a GoPro as my facial um, camera so that actually it worked okay the only thing was I couldn't get a good enough shot in um, when it was real dark out so um, about four even three four five o'clock um, right when it's getting real dark um, but it's still daylight out enough to get a shot off you can't see yourself in the camera that's the only bad thing about um, GoPros that I have found is it's just a terrible camera to use in the dark there's no adjustment for lighting uh, the zoom is terrible on it um, so you are better off 
saving some money and getting something decent. Now, they do have camcorders, handheld camcorders, that are perfect. Um, you can get a really decent HD camcorder for two, three hundred bucks, and that will be enough for you to get a good shot off um, of you shooting that deer. Now, the only bad thing is um, sometimes their lighting isn't the best. Um, so when you're in a dark situation or early in the morning, you can't get a good light. Um, another thing is uh, the zoom is, you know, that's it's an auto zoom, I believe so. So this one is a manual zoom. So I can basically, on this guy right here, I can zoom in or out with just um, as much as I need. So I can adjust that by myself. Um, and another thing is quality, picture quality. Um, you're talking probably 1080p is what those cameras shoot on. Um, these ones are a little bit more detailed. They have a crisper view, um, a crisper uh, picture of the the animal. So um, that's kind of why I switched to both DSLRs. Um, and I only use this guy right here for hunting and hunting only. So it doesn't go anywhere. Um, except for hunting and I just realized I put that on the wrong wrong way all right so there we fix that issue um, another thing that um, I do uh, want to emphasize is don't spend a ton of money on your first year setup um, I'm already in my second year of self filming and I love it it's so much fun because you're basically trying to shoot the deer twice you're trying to shoot the deer with the camera and then you're trying to shoot the deer with uh, your bow or your rifle. So it definitely makes it a harder thing to, um, to do, honest to God. It's, it's definitely um, worth it if you can get the good shots that you can. Um, but when you're shooting that deer twice, um, you know, it takes a lot of patience. So there, there's a lot more into self-filming than one thinks and um, I just don't want somebody to watch this video and say, hey, I want to help self-film and then, you know, hate it because, you know, you spooked the deer or trust me, I put in hundreds of hours last year um, hunting, trying to get good shots of deer and the only thing that I could find that worked for me was hunting in a blind. So now that um, you know it's my second year, I want to get back into hunting a, on a tree with a tree stand. So that's my goal: is to get a deer in the tree stand um, and shoot it self-filming. So um, yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to put links to everything uh, here if anybody wants to buy any of it. Um, I'll put links. Most of this stuff is from Amazon um, because, you know, if you go through actually the company Muddy or if you go through Fourth Arrow, um, some stuff can get super, super expensive. Uh, so I found Amazon has the best prices. So um, I'll put links down in the description for this video. All right, guys. So we are basically, I want to show you guys what exactly it's going to look like when I'm out hunting this year. So we're just going to do a quick little 30 second, one minute. Um, expectation of what this is going to look like if we do get a decent buck this year so um, I'm gonna roll that right now and hope you guys enjoy um, thank you guys for watching I'm gonna end the video after I do this little clip it just to give you guys a little bit of excitement for the hunting season so thank you guys again for watching I hope you enjoy and as always we'll see you on the next one all right y'all it is 12 30 in the afternoon and uh, we're basically on a hunt. I saw a target uh, walking down, probably about 60 yards. I'm gonna hope that he comes back up and uh, we can range him out and uh, hopefully we'll have a dead target down. So let's sit and wait. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, we will see you on the next one.
Yes! <laughs>